What's up you guys? Today is a really exciting day because as you probably saw by the title of this video, I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I'm packing in baby girl's diaper bag for labor and delivery and for the hospital. But it's also an exciting day because when you're watching this, I'm officially 37 weeks pregnant. I'm considered full term. She could come at any point now or she could also go two weeks past her due date and I could be pregnant for another month. But we're gonna be very hopeful that she either comes a little bit early or right at her due date. But I stayed up all night last night getting together her things for her diaper bag and like what I wanted her to take pictures in at the hospital because I know babies really don't need a lot when they're at the hospital because the hospital itself provides all the baby necessities but I still wanted to pack some special things from home and her going home outfit and everything so I'm really excited to show you guys everything that I packed. So this is the diaper bag that I will be using for baby girl. It is by freshly picked and I believe the color is stone. It's just a nice gray color with the backpack straps and it also comes with a strap to wear as a crossbody and like a purse style. It's made out of vegan leather so it's really easy to just like wipe off any mess that gets on it because you know you'll probably have a mess on it at some point with a baby. Another thing I love is this top part because you can have it zipped like it currently is you can also have it unzipped and then just close it with the metal button for easier access like if you're holding your baby or something this is what it looks like fully packed of her things that i'm going to be bringing to the hospital the first things that i have in her diaper bag are just two sample packs of wipes i know the hospital does provide diapers and wipes and all the things you need for baby but I've heard that it's really nice to have a really wet wipe of your own because baby's poop is pretty tar like in the beginning so having your own wipes is really helpful because sometimes the wipes that the hospital provides can be drier and not as effective or you have to like wet them yourselves and then use them so this is just kind of a convenience thing. The next thing that I'm packing that I wasn't really sure if I need or not, but I've seen it in other people's hospital bags for baby, and that is a nail clipper. This is just the Frida Baby nail clipper, and I always figured that the hospital would clip your baby's nails for you if they're super long, but I don't actually know if that's the case. So if they don't and she comes out with super long nails and is gonna scratch her face with them, I wanted to be prepared with a little nail clipper. The next thing I have in here that is not that exciting, but it is a portable sound machine with its charger. This is to help not only baby girl sleep while we're in the hospital, but also Banner and I sleep while we're there because I've heard the hospital can kind of have a weird vibe and it's just nice to have something to drown out the noise while you sleep. So that is what the sound machine is like. The next things that I have in here for baby girl are just some socks. I have two fuzzy white pairs of socks. These can also be used as mittens. Two just in case I lose one we will have a backup. And then this third pair I'm pretty sure I'm going to put on her for her going home outfit. They just look like little ballet slippers, which I thought was so cute. I'm also bringing two different bows for baby girl, a white one and then a really pale pink bow. This one is from Baby Bling and then this is an Amazon bow. I could have gone crazy with the different bow options, but I tried to keep it pretty simple and pretty classic. You know, can't go wrong with baby pink and white. The next things I have in here are some swaddles. So I'm bringing quite a few different blankets and swaddles for baby girl. I know the hospital has blankets and everything, but these are mainly just for picture's sake. I doubt she'll really be wearing any of these while she's in the hospital. She'll probably wear the hospital blanket. This one is just a big white muslin swaddle blanket. It has small little pom-poms all along the edge. This will probably be used as a background for her pictures. Just a nice, simple white background. I love white on newborns. It's my favorite thing. It's just so pure and beautiful. In this bag, 
This bag actually came with one of the swaddles in here. I have two more photo blankets. This is a thermal receiving blanket. That's what it looks like. I'm sorry the lighting is crazy right now and it keeps going back and forth, but I'm bringing this as a picture backdrop, maybe swaddle her in, you know, all the things. To get away from all of the pink and take a little break, I packed this aqua or teal muslin swaddle for pictures as well. It has little white flowers on it. Thought this was a nice change of pace from the white or the baby pink. Lastly, this swaddle is more of a practical swaddle that Banner and I will probably actually use if we're left to swaddle her in the middle of the night. That's because it's a Velcro swaddle. It's called the Ollie swaddle. So it's super hardcore Velcro. And then it has an elastic at the bottom to knot her up like that. I wanted to bring at least one Velcro swaddle because I'm not really sure if we'll be able to master the traditional swaddle and this is what we'll be using when we get home. I figured it would be nice practice to use it in the hospital as well. And this swaddle came with the mesh baggie that I'm carrying all of her swaddles in. I'm bringing three plain white just Gerber newborn onesies to wear under her swaddle because I know most of the time babies are naked at the hospital and under their swaddle so I just wanted her to have a little something to wear so I brought three in case you know she blows out in this one spits up on this one and then we have one left over you know I'm also thinking for a picture idea of her in just a plain onesie with this as the background or this as the background all the things aside from those white onesies i also threw in just a newborn size sleeper to wear potentially under those swaddle blankets i don't know if she'll actually use this but i wanted to have it just in case because it has the little footies on there i don't know how cold the hospital will be but I have heard that they tend to run on the cooler side. The last clothing item I am bringing is her going home outfit and I've had so many people ask what I'm gonna be bringing her home in and I can't really show you the whole full frontal of this outfit because it says her name on it but I'll show you guys from the back. It's a white romper with some ruffle bell bottom style <laughs> pants and little ruffle detail around the arms. I ordered it custom off Etsy. So she'll wear this and then probably this pale pink bow and her little ballet slipper socks. Oh, I love it. Either with this thermal blanket on top or the white one. She's very girly. She's got all the pinks and the whites going on. I am bringing a few binkies. I know that binkies can be very controversial, nipple confusion, all the things, I know it, I don't really care. <laughs> she might take it, she might not like it, we'll see, but I wanted to bring just a few. Honestly, I picked these because of her outfits and they kind of match. So we have a Ryan and Rose one. This one, I don't know what brand it is, but it's a tiny, tiny newborn size binky. This one is from the company bibs the very last thing that i have in this diaper bag is a car seat cover this is for when we take baby girl from our hospital room down to our car just to protect her from the hospital especially with everything going on with the coronavirus this can also be used as a nursing cover something to put on a grocery cart if we were going places but it's super soft and that what it looks like so that is everything that was in the hospital bag as you can see it has many pockets in there it has this zip pocket as well but i don't have anything in there two side pockets and then a back pocket one extra thing that i'm bringing to the hospital for baby girl is our boppy pillow this is to help with positioning when I'm breastfeeding at the hospital. This won't be my primary nursing pillow. While I'm at home, I actually have the My Breast Friend for when we're home, but I liked this one because it came in a carrying case to keep it 
nice and clean for transport. That is everything that I'm gonna be bringing to the hospital for baby girl when she's born. I'm so excited to finally get to see her in all these little clothes that I've been collecting over the past couple months. I can't believe she's about to make her appearance and I cannot wait to introduce you guys to her once she's here. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.